In Excel, a drop-down list can make it easy to enter data, but if you've got a very long list, it takes time to scroll down and find what you need. To make it easier, we'll add letter headings and then type a letter in a cell, and immediately you'll go to that part of the list. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. In this table, each cell has a data drop-down list, and if we look at the data validation, it's using a range called My List. If I go to the name box and choose My List, it takes me to another worksheet where I can see all the products going down to row 92. This is a sample file that you can get on my website, and it has three buttons that run macros. This one will add single letter headings to the list that will make it easier to enter and find the data that we need. There's also a button that will remove all the letter headings, and another one that adds only the letters that are used for the product names in the list. So these buttons make it easy to add the letters, but I'll show you how to add them manually so you don't need to use the macros if you don't want to. To create the list of letters, I've gone to a blank sheet, and in A1 I'll type 65, and go down to the next cell and type 66. Then select both cells and point to the fill handle and drag down to row 26, because we want 26 letters. We're going to use these with the character function. Type an equal sign, char, open bracket, and then click on cell A1 and press enter. That gives us the A. Select that cell and double click on the fill handle to get all the letters of the alphabet. Then control C to copy and go back to our list and go right down to the end. Click in the cell immediately below the list and right click paste values. That gives us all the letters and then we just have to sort the list. So select any cell, right click, sort A to Z. And there we have our list with the headings in it. After you've added the letters to the list, just go to the data entry sheet, type a letter in the cell, maybe a Q, and then click this arrow and that will take you right to that part of the list where you can select an item or just select from the list and scroll down the way you usually would. Later, if you want to remove the headings from your list, you can do this. Click the arrow, text filters, equals. And in here we want something that equals a single character, so just type a question mark. Click OK. And now just the single letter headings are showing. So click just at the top of the table that selects all those cells. And on the Home tab, click the arrow for Delete and delete table rows. Then go back to this drop down arrow and clear the filter. So there's your list without any headings. Thanks for watching this video. You can go to my website, contextures.com, to get this workbook. And please subscribe to my Contextures YouTube channel so you can see the latest videos as I post them.